Can I say, can I say what an absolute pleasure it is to be with you um, this afternoon? And uh, this event, this lunchtime, is the second most exciting event taking place this month in Europe. For those of you who are hungover or still struggling from the hangover from last night, what a great game. Did England do well? And I was, I was speaking to some Londoners this morning who said, you know, the English team have finally won a penalty shootout. Surely we can finally have a mayor that will fix the housing crisis. And I said, you know what? It's taken them decades, but I'll make a start. Hopefully it'll take a lot sooner to fix the housing crisis than for England to win a penalty shootout. But it is great to be here this afternoon. It's been a year since the launch of our Good Growth by Design program, which sets out my vision, our vision from City Hall, for a built environment for all Londoners. A city that enables all Londoners to reach their potential, a city that's inclusive, and a city where growth brings benefits to communities. London is facing unprecedented population growth, and with this comes challenges but also amazing opportunities. Opportunities to deliver a city that is socially integrated, sustainable, and with a world-class public realm. And we must embrace London's rapid growth with both hands and take this chance to use good architecture and planning to make a real difference to the lives of Londoners. And I'm delighted that with the help of our new 50 design advocates, we're already making great progress, from taking a more sustainable approach to working to make our public spaces more accessible, and from ensuring our public spaces can be designed to support healthy, safe environments for children, to working on new housing design guidance to show how we can deliver housing that enhances rather than undermines the quality of life for local communities. I'm confident that we can keep on making progress, and I know that a big part of achieving my vision, our vision for London, will be working with you, London's built environment sector. And this is what our new public practice initiative is all about, an enormous opportunity and a key part of making good design the rule and not the exception. Ladies and gentlemen, the focus of my prize this year is diversity, social value and promoting a built environment for all Londoners. London's diversity is our greatest asset, both the diversity of our people and also our places. Not only our diverse communities, but our streets and squares, parks and waterways, markets and museums. As the shortlist will show, we have an inspiring diverse group of people in your sector, people who are driven to design schemes that improve lives and support our diverse communities. But we're not where we want to be, both in terms of the nature of developments and the diversity of the development community. As Mayor, I'm working to address this lack of equality. For example, the first cohort of the Public Practice Associates is 71% women and 24% BAME and our design advocates are equally diverse. We're also making amendments to our procurement processes to encourage diversity policies. But I want to take this opportunity to urge you all in this sector to do more. It's difficult to overstate the enormous impact you as developers, clients, architects and planners have on the lives of Londoners. So it's essential that London's design sector reflects the city that she serves. So, without further ado, I want to turn to the Mayor's Prize for Diversity. We had an extremely strong shortlist. And by the way, can you have a round of applause for Pete Murray for doing an amazing job uh, during the awards? Can I say? <laughs> Pete. They're a rowdy bunch. I'd choose Mayor's Question Time over this lot any day of the week. We had an extremely strong shortlist. And in particular, 
I want to commend the inspiring Waterloo City Farm project that supports children at risk of exclusion. But we do have a winner. It's a great example of how estate regeneration can preserve existing diverse communities and support them through periods of change. An example of how you can combine sensitive refurbishment with new buildings and great design. Of course, I'm talking about the London Borough of Hackney with Kara Kusevich, Carson, Henley Hale Brown and Muff Architectures for the King's Crescent Estate Scheme.